Hi, good afternoon. Thank you so much for joining Computer Systems Institute's digital multimedia webinar. I am so excited you could join us today. We have a lot of fun stuff we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about graphic design, photo editing, HTML, color correction, and we're going to talk about how CSI is on a mission to get you prepared for the digital transformation happening today. My name is Julia Lauder, and I'm the CEO of Computer Systems Institute. We are celebrating our 30th year anniversary this year. Yay! I'm very excited about that, and I'm very excited you could join us today. So we created this digital multimedia program within our business curriculum because it's intended not only for graphic artists or marketing specialists, it is for anyone who's interested in promoting a product or service or even an idea. First and foremost, I think that these skills, the digital design, image processing, web page development, it's a lot of fun. You don't need to be artistic to edit pictures and create websites, anyone can learn how to do it. And everyone should actually, because technical skills are not just for IT anymore. Peter Drucker, a management guru, said companies have two functions, innovation and marketing. So even if you're not working in the marketing department, you are still involved in marketing because the whole organization is involved in marketing. And that is the reason we built our business career program with a concentration in multimedia design because those are the skills to help you create the pictures, the websites, the brochures, the presentations, the blogs, the images that you need to promote your product or your service. And these are great skills to add to whatever skills you already have, or it could be a great launching pad for your career because marketing is everything. So either way, Whatever your path may be, we are here to help you. We have a talented team of individuals, and let me introduce some of those folks that are with us today. Okay, we've got Raymond Flores, and Raymond is our Director of Strategic Initiatives in Massachusetts, and we've got Lena, who's our International Admissions Manager in Illinois, and we have uh, Alexander Yaklovev, who is our faculty member, who's gonna be presenting um, in just a few minutes who is our faculty member in Charlestown, Massachusetts. So Raymond and Lena are here to help answer any questions that you may have, um, any comments that you may have, any information that you may need, they're here to help. And they're here to help you uh, figure out, um, you know, how to leverage these kinds of skills with the skills you currently have. So we're happy to do that. Just give them a buzz, ask a couple of questions. At the bottom of your screen, you have a Q&A button and the chat button. Go ahead, and, uh, and we're here to, to support you. And Alex is, um, is a faculty member at our Charlestown campus. Alex is teaching this program for us there, and he's gonna walk us through and show us some really cool things that you can do with technology um, in terms of editing pictures, websites, and all kinds of cool stuff. Alex comes to us with over five years of experience in working in this industry. He is really smart and really bright, and he's so engaged in this uh, program. His students love the program and the classes. His class is packed. So uh, I'm going to let Alex uh, get started. And uh, again, if you have any questions, please go ahead and push the buttons, type in your questions or your comments, and we're here to support you and help you. So Alex, let's get started. Thank you, Julia, for giving me this opportunity to talk about our business career program classes here at CSI. Uh, hello, everyone. Welcome to our webinar. I hope you will find all information in here very useful. Uh, my name is Alexander. Uh, I hold the position of adjunct instructor at CSI. I have a background in computer engineering. But in addition to it, I have a very extensive experience in image editing, video editing and website development. Uh, actually, I started it as a hobby and created like images and videos for my friends, for my family. And then I've been passed a long way and now I work as a freelance web designer, web developer and video editor. I gained a lot of useful knowledge in digital multimedia creation. And now I'd like to share my knowledge and I think that uh, teaching at CSI is the best way to do it. Business Career Program 
consists of two tracks. First track is about business fundamentals and entrepreneurship. And the second track is my favorite one, is about um, digital multimedia creation. So uh, this track consists of eight courses. And today I would like to review uh, each of them and provide you some useful demonstrations where and how uh, this knowledge um, acquired from these courses uh, might be useful in real life. Are you ready? Let's get started. First class is graphic design. In this class you will learn about uh, graphic design concepts, uh, shape dynamics and color dynamics. You will learn how to combine different shapes together to get a good result. Also you will learn about typography and branding style to create your advertising design. So this is more like a theoretical course uh, that will open you a way to image processing 1 and 2 classes. In this class, you will learn how to use Photoshop, the most advanced tool for image and photo editing. You will start with Photoshop basics and then you will learn how to create different layers, uh, how to combine layers together, how to create selections and layer masks, and also how to work with topography tools. In the part 2 of uh, image processing classes, you will learn how to use camera raw, how to use advanced brush settings, and also you will learn uh, how to use vector graphics to create your own uh, logo for your own imaginary or real company. We will explore some video editing capabilities of Photoshop and we will learn how to create uh, your own website. And today I would like to give you some sneak peeks from this course. I need to switch to Photoshop interface right now to give you some interesting insights about this course. For example, uh, this is the real assignment from our classes. Uh, imagine that you took a picture of yourself in front of a big city. And then you realize that actually some guy, uh, some runner had been passed by, spoiled your picture. So is there a way to remove him? And the answer will be, of course, yes, uh, because we are in Photoshop, <laughs> right? So uh, in Photoshop, we have a very useful uh, photo restoration tools. One of them is patch tool. Uh, using this tool you can highlight object you want to remove and just remove it in a few simple steps. Like this is first, uh, step one. You removed most of the object and then uh, you need to just fix it a little bit and here you go. Let's compare before and after result. So this is the picture before and this is the picture after correction. If you show it someone, uh, no one re will realize that actually there was some uh, runner over here. So uh, let's check it again, before and after, before and after. Also using these tools, uh, you can remove some unwanted objects like this smoke from the image, right? Sometimes it, it requires more than one click to do that. But after that, you can check out the result, like before and after. I think that's amazing. So another uh, assignment I'd like to share with you uh, is turning this picture into a magazine cover, like this one. Let's compare before and after. And actually for this assignment, you'll learn a lot of uh, you will lose, use a lot of techniques like uh, selection, layer masks, clipping masks, and typography tools. So let's compare before and after. And actually you might know that the uh, head of this girl is moving up, right? And we can achieve that using a very interesting tool called Puppet Warp. And in our classes, we will learn how to use this. So the idea, you can place uh, points uh, on, in your image and then you can move them as a puppet. That's amazing, right? You can move it down or up, down on or up. It's like a puppet. That's very cool. So uh, this is about image processing classes. Later I will show you some demonstrations where can you use this knowledge acquired from this course. 
Next classes of Business Career Program are WebPage Markup 1 and WebPage Markup 2 classes. In these classes, you will learn basics of HTML, uh, you will start with text formatting uh, and how to insert images inside your page. Then you will continue and add even more elements like tables and navigation menus. In Webpage Markup 2 classes, you will continue to use more advanced techniques uh, for your website creation, like embedded media, uh, some widgets and APIs, uh, how to insert and use user feedback forms, and how to make your website a mobile friendly. Later, I will show you how to use this knowledge uh, to create a beautifully looking email advertisement for your campaign. And the next class is web page styling. In this class, you will learn even more advanced CSS tools. CSS is styling tools uh, and how to create a dynamic content on your web page. For example, if user click on one section of your page, uh, uh, some model window could be displayed uh, with some welcome message and so on. We'll learn how to do that. And this will be a capstone for these uh, web development classes. Next classes are web content management and search engine optimization. In these classes, you will learn how to create visually appealing text and images for your websites, blogs, and webinars. Uh, also, you will learn how to promote your website uh, or your products in search results. So, this was a very brief uh, introduction of our classes. And you may actually ask me, okay, I not plan to be a designer of web or web developer. Uh, will these classes will help in my business or in my future career? And my answer will be, of course, yes. Uh, because these classes will provide you a very specific knowledge uh, that you can use in real life. And right now, I would like to provide you a few demonstrations uh, of real life applications. We'll start with preparation uh, graphics for business presentation. Uh, that's really important. Next, I will show you how to automate some routine tasks like, like inserting watermarks in your image. Then I will show you how to save money uh, if you know advanced color correction techniques in Photoshop. Then I will show you how to create an email advertisement using HTML. Are you interested? Let's get started. So let's review actually the current presentation. I used Photoshop a lot to prepare some images, to crop them, to uh, remove a background, and to do some color corrections. Uh, let's compare these two slides. Uh, we have here a girl holding a placard, an empty placard, which means we can place something into it. And that's how you do it if you don't know how to remove a background in Photoshop. And that's how you can do it if you know how to remove a background. So, as you can see, uh, here we have an empty space, right? And in this picture, in this slide, uh, we have an effect like uh, this girl is holding uh, our table with our class's description. That's really cool. And let me show you how it's possible in Photoshop. So here we have this girl holding the empty placard. This is just a, a plain white uh, placard. And in Photoshop we have layer masks. Layer masks uh, allow you to hide or show certain parts of the image. And if you do a layer mask, if you apply a layer mask to this layer, you'll make it transparent, which means uh, you can place any background behind it, any color, and any image. And for example, you can place a flyer with your advertisement and description of your product. And now we have a feeling that this girl is actually holding this uh, flyer. So in order to use that, uh, you need to save this image as PNG file. PNG file supports transparency. After you save that, you can use it in any presentation, just drag it in as a regular image and then reposition it to achieve a desired effect. So, uh, next one, 
I would like to show you uh, how to create a winning animations. For example, uh, this anima animation contains a hand uh, holding a globe uh, and we have a background over here. And if I play this animation again, you can see that it's not very good be because we have here a not transparent area. Let's compare it with a tra uh, transparency. That's, that is more beautiful, right? Let's play it again. Now we have a feeling like this icon is popping up right behind the globe. Uh, we use the same technique uh, to remove uh, the background from this image. Next one is batch image processing. So imagine a scenario. You have uh, a furniture website and in your website you have thousands of images. And one day uh, your image, uh, management asks you, uh, hey, could you please insert a watermark of our company, uh, of our logo to each image on our website? And if you have thousands of images, that may take a while, a long time, right? So uh, right now I will show you how to insert uh, the watermark like Zara Home uh, to a series of images with just one click. So imagine that you have an image, right? And you inserted a watermark over here. And I have actually uh, only 10 images of a furniture over here. And let's say I have only 10. It could be more, but for the sake of time, I will use only 10. And you can go over here, File, Automate, Batch, and select a script, watermark, Zara watermark. You can specify a folder with your images and just click OK. After that, Photoshop will open each image and insert watermark on it and save it automatically. Let's check out the result. There you go. Uh, Photoshop created uh, images over here, new images, and e each image now contains a watermark. Zara Home, over here, over here, over here, over here. So that's how we can save time and complete the routine tasks. So next useful uh, application of Photoshop is uh, color correction. Again, imagine a scenario that you have an online store and you're selling t-shirts. And for, for example, uh, for this t-shirt, you have only two color options. But then you decided to expand uh, color options, extend color options, and add more colors, like 10 different colors. And that means you need to hire a model, uh, hire a photographer, and retake image of this guy uh, wearing new colors of your uh, shirts. Actually, you don't need to do that because you have Photoshop and you can uh, change color almost of anything. Let me show you how to do that. So here we have our website. I took a Macy's website, just for example. right? So here we have only two color options for this shirt. And actually using Photoshop and layer mask, I can create any layer. So I use uh, adjustments, uh, adjustment layer and layer mask to change color of this shirt. So I can make it violet, I can make it blue, I can make it yellow, I can make it cyan. I can create any color actually. For example, orange looks good, right? But you may ask me, is it possible to create black or white shirt having the color for one? Let me show you how, how can you do it. So here I have level adjustments uh, and I can desaturate this shirt to make it gray and then I can move these sliders over right to make it black. I can reveal some or hide some details and I can move it this slider to the left to create 
a white shirt. That's fantastic, right? So let's say I decided to change uh, the color to orange, orange one, because I like, I like orange. So I save that. And now I have this color appearing over here in my uh, website. All I need to do is just to add the color option over here and just repeat this process until I create uh, as many variations as I need. And in this way, I can save money and I don't need to hire a photographer and a model. So let's move on. Uh, next useful application uh, of our um, business career program classes uh, is email marketing. Uh, for example, if you know how to use HTML, you can convert this HTML code into beautifully looking email advertisement. Let me show you how can you do it. In order to send an uh, email advertisement to your customers, you need to create a mini version of a web page. Uh, but the good thing that you don't need actually to build it from zero. You can Google for a, a responsive HTML email template. So, for example, in this website, I can f uh, I found a different templates. For example, I, uh, I want to use this one. I can download it and then use it. So the thing is, if I open this uh, index.html file in a, in a web browser, I can see that only one image is visible. The rest of the images are not visible. Let's try to highlight all of them, copy this, uh, copy this content and send it to myself. So I can actually just paste it in, uh, in a message, right? and send it to myself, just for testing. And if I check my email, I can see that actually uh, the, uh, the message I sent is just a, a text, buttons, and links. There are no images. But why? Let's figure it out. Uh, in the code, and in our classes, we'll learn how to read the code and how to write our own HTML code for the web page design, you'll learn that actually the, uh, the link for images are local, which means you use only local images. And here I have only one image over here. That's why only one image is displayed over there. So what I need to do, I need to replace the local images uh, by images available in the internet. So all I need to do is just replace this image by this very long one, but the one that's available in the internet. And after that, I can save this document and again open it in a web browser to verify the results. Okay, now I have all the images over here. And if I select all the content over here, copy that, and create a new message and send it to myself just for verification. And now I'm going to check the result. Here you go. Now I received uh, my email advertisement and I can scroll it. I can uh, check the images, right? I can uh, see the description and all images are here. We just fixed that. So in our classes, you will learn how to uh, create your own web page design how to insert images, how to use them, how to replace images, how to crop it, and how to edit all this content inside this weirdly looking uh, HTML code. That's actually uh, very simple. You don't need to be scary. We will learn how to do it from zero. So that's it for today. I hope you enjoyed our demonstrations. Uh, it was my pleasure to provide you uh, an information about this course to give you more ideas about real life applications. If you have any questions, uh, you're welcome to ask them during the Q&A session. And now I would like to give a word to our uh, admissions department. Thank you. Bye bye.
Hi, I'm Raymond Flores, Director of Strategic Initiative at CSI, and I want to thank you for participating in this webinar. Thank you, Julia, for the introduction, and Alex for the in-depth presentation of the program. In fact, Alex is one of our instructors here at my Charlestown campus in Boston, and I am always amazed on how engaged and involved the students are in this class. I actually didn't know you could do all the that, that you showed us, Alex. Uh, the BCP DM or Digital Multimedia Program is a cutting edge program that you can use to grow and promote products effectively on and offline and will benefit you in sharpening your skills and gaining an edge in the business environment. As you can see on my screen, you can find more information on our website at www.csinow.edu. That is www.csinow.edu. And if you go under the programs link, for business career programs, you'll get more information. Or you can call the number on the top right hand side of your screen, which is 847-967-5030. And you can talk with one of our experienced international admissions representatives. Also, after this webinar, you will receive a link of the recording of this webinar, as well as contact information for enrollment or any questions that you might have with the email that you registered with. Thank you once again for joining our webinar, and we look forward to having an opportunity to serve you and meet your educational needs. Thank you.